What's up guys? Nate here. Welcome back to Brick Tech. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Brick Tech without the bat. Um, today I've got my first ever collaboration video that's going to be posted on this channel. So, what, what, what I'm going to be doing is reviewing this guy. This is a fantastic design for Jake Sully from, from the movie Avatar, the James Cameron one. Not the one where people, like, bend the elements. The one with the blue alien dudes. This is a fantastic design of him from Avatar by my good friend Lego with Jay. Go check his channel out, by the way, guys. Subscribe. Really cool builds. Really, uh, really good channel. Solid channel. But anyway, this is what I'm going to be reviewing today. I built his design for Jake Sully, and I absolutely love it. It's very, very good. Um, it's got a lot of articulation, um, very, very good design overall, uh, hard to get some of the colors, like, all blue, because some of the pieces used don't come in blue, so that was a little bit of an issue, uh, trying to find those on, like, brick length, but, um, other than that, it looks really good, it turned out really well. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Here's a 360 view of the figure of Jake Sully. It's not minifigure scale. Let me go, go ahead and point that out. It's not supposed to be minifigure scale. It's just a, a, a brick-built action figure. Overall, the it looks very, very similar to Jake Sully from the movie. He looks... he Jay, my, uh, Jay, when you're watching this, you nailed the design, buddy, I have to say. But anyway... He's very detailed. He comes with a loincloth, a ponytail, regular tail, uh, hands that act can actually hold stuff, and uh, yellow eyes. Very, very good detailing overall on this thing. Here's only one of the many poses you can get this guy into. This is just to show you the, the kind of articulation he has. But it's uh, fully articulated all the way around. Legs, arms, knees hands, wrists, even the tail is articulated. The ponytail here is flexible at, it has a single hinge joint, but it is made out of a flexible hose piece, so you can, you get both good looking detailing, I mean it does look like hair, you get that, and you also get uh, maneuverability. I didn't want just one of these figures, and Jake seemed to never be alone in the movie, out in the Avatar movie, so I modified the design and made Neytiri as well. Here's a 360 view of Neytiri, which is just a modified design, uh, modified version of the design for Jake. I I'm pleased with the way it turned out. Uh, it's not too hard to modify the the design for Jake into Neytiri. It's rather easy. The hardest part was figuring out how to give her hair, and like, because she had the ponytail and hair around her like ears and stuff, while Jake just had a straight ponytail. But anyway, I, instead of her having a loincloth, I just gave her a necklace, which is similar to what she had in the scene called Tree of Voices. Here's Jake and Neytiri together. As you can see, Neytiri is slightly shorter than Jake. All in all, guys, I definitely recommend checking out the video of how to build this design and consider building it yourself. I definitely recommend it. It's it's a fun figure to have in your collection, I must say. But um, I'll I'll put the link. I'll I'll um I'll link the video of how to build uh Jake in the end screen, not in the description, in the end screen right after the the outro. But uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell all down below. And I'll see you next time on Brick Tech. Bye-bye.